Hi guys, in this video we are going to analyze the golden throw of Neera Chopra, the throw that brought gold to India, brought glory to India and on behalf of Physics Infinity and on behalf of all everybody, let us stand up, up to Neera Chopra and congratulate him. We are going to investigate his throw from our knowledge of the projectile motion that normally we learn in physics. Well, the purpose is here to calculate out uh, from the physics knowledge, well, what is the initial velocity with which he launched the projectile, the javelin? Well, I'll use the javelin, the projectile here, and at what angle he launched that projectile in order to obtain the gold for India. So here you are. First of all, let me look at it from a very elementary point of view. That is the standard oblique projection of a projectile launched from the ground. Then we all know, uh, and that's quite a study that we all do in physics, that the, the flight is uh, parabolic, the trajectory is parabolic, and then it, uh, if the initial velocity is u, and it is launched at an angle theta, then it gets the maximum range, that is r equal to u square, sine 2 theta upon g. Now, this is a standard case where the projectile is launch, launched from the ground. But the projectile launched by Neeraj is not from the ground. It is from a certain height above the ground. <coughs> well, I take the height. Now, uh, well, we, uh, we know that the uh, height of uh, Neeraj is uh, 5 feet 11 inches. And assuming he launches it at a when, when he launches the javelin, it's at a, about one foot above, above his uh, head. So that would make roughly about seven feet from above the ground. And uh, well, in the SI units, because we'll work in the SI system, that's about 2.13 meter above the ground. So the situation is this now. If it is launched from the ground, then of course, his range is 87.58 meters. And that would give us from the simple formula u square sine to theta upon g. g I am taking as 10 meter per second square. r is 87.58. And from this uh, we work out the angle theta, the angle theta to be 45 degrees. We all know that, that the range is maximum for a given velocity when the angle is 45 degrees. And I put the 45 degrees here and I obtain the value of u to be 29.31 meter per second simple calculation so 29.31 meter per second or that in terms of kilometer per hour with which uh, well normally people are more familiar that would come out to 105.52 kilometer per hour but let's analyze exactly what happened Neeraj launched it not from the ground he launched it from a height above the ground that is from the point a well that is 2.13 meter above the ground and then if you look at this blue curve then this is the projectile of Neeraj. So this is how Neeraj javelin went and, la and landed somewhere here at sea and this is what we call as the range of the projectile that is 87.58 meter that brought him and India the gold. Okay so the purpose is now to calculate what is the initial velocity of launch and at what angle, what, what angle to the horizontal, he launched the javelin. Sometimes I'll use javelin, sometimes I'll use projectile, it's one and the same thing. So at what angle the projectile was launched to the horizontal. So let's see. First of all, I'll try to calculate the angle and then we'll try to calculate the speed of launch or the velocity of launch. So here you are. If I look, if I analyze, I use the simple equations of motion and I'd use it in vector form, then for the total flight of the javelin, the vertical displacement, vertical displacement of the javelin is minus, minus h j cap, where small h is of course 2.13 meter. Now, why do I take minus? Well, students of physics can easily understand because the final, if this is at the coordinate I'm taking as zero and the initial position I'm taking as 2.13 or h j cap. So the difference 
the displacement is the difference of the two positions that is 0 minus 2.13 j cap of course i am taking y axis uh, 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 j cap y axis as the vertical and horizontal is x so here you are so minus s equal to ud plus half a d square so minus h j cap in vector form is u sine phi because i am assuming that is launching at an angle phi to the horizontal to the horizontal from the height so u sine phi j cap t capital t is a total time of flight total time of flight that the javelin took uh, uh, to to uh, strike uh, the final uh, destination point that is c on the ground so minus half 10 now acceleration due to gravity of course in vector form it is always down so it is minus 10 j cap t square i call that equation one i'm taking g as minus 10 j cap meter per second square meter per second square so okay that's fine now let's work out suppose if he had launched it from the ground because these co these positions we know theta 45 and all that so if he had launched from ground which is not the case but let's frame the equation for that then zero because the net displacement here to this point the point g to point c is zero final zero initial zero net this zero so zero is equal to u sine theta because if he had launched it from the ground which is not the case then it would have been at angle theta equal to 45 degrees which i'm going to use that knowledge so zero is equal to u sine theta j cap t minus half 10 j cap t square let's call that equation two all right now from here i uh, i adjust this equation and i get u sine phi u sine phi of course jj cap will cancel everywhere so u sine phi into t plus h and from here i'll get uh, u sine theta into t because uh, uh, so this is what i get the equation three equation three all right and then what about the range now as far as we all know that during the uh, projectile motion since there is no horizontal force acting of course i am ignoring the viscous force and i am uh, 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 ignoring the upturn well these are the assumptions that we always make in the calculations of physics so we are ignoring uh, air resistance we are uh, ignoring the upthrust of air so in that case so the only force that i am taking care of is the gravity force that is acting down so the range would be horizontal velocity would remain unaffected only the vertical velocity gets changed throughout the motion so r would be equal to u cos phi into t and this is also u cos theta into t because in both these launches the range i am taking same as 87.58 so from here i obtain t as r upon u cos phi or from this equation r uh, t also is r upon u cos theta i put this value in three I put this value in 3 in the equation 3 I get u sine phi r upon u cos phi plus h plus h plus h is equal to u sine theta u sine theta into t I replace t by r upon u cos theta so here u cancels here u cancels and from here also u cancels so I get I adjust this I adjust this so I get h plus r tan phi is equal to r tan theta and this gives me h equal to r tan theta minus tan phi now theta we know here that is 45 degrees and tan 45 we all know is 1 so i work i put the value of h i put the value of r i put the value of tan theta equal to 1 i obtain 2.13 equal to 87.58 into 1 minus tan phi that gives me tan phi equal to 1 minus 2.13 upon 87.58 i just come over here or tan phi is 0 0.9757 and i look at the table that gives me exactly phi as 44 degree 17 minutes so the angle at which neeraj launched the projectile the javelin is from the ground from 2.13 meter above the ground is 44 degree and 17 okay minutes. now let us try to find out the velocity at which he launched the javelin well here you are so he launched the javelin from the point a 2.13 meter above the ground with the velocity u making an angle phi now phi we have calculated 44 degrees and 17 minutes so i'll use the values of cos phi and sine phi in my calculations and this is the red this is the flight of 
javelin, nearest javelin, the red curve, it landed at sea, 87.58, the golden throw, the golden range, let's call it the golden range. To find you, let me consider the motion, well, the red project, the red trajectory, A to B to C, and that's in time, capital T, in capital T. Let's see that. So once again, the net vertical displacement is minus h j cap in vector form and that should be so s equal to u d plus half a d square in vector form it will be minus h j cap is u sin phi initial velocity u sin phi j cap vertical velocity into t total time of flight minus half g that is 10 j cap t square well that gives me h equal to phi t square minus u sin phi into t and that will <clears throat> i put the values phi now to get the value of uh, t in terms of u i just use the expression the horizontal range r is u cos phi into t so t is r upon u cos phi i put the value of phi as 44 degrees and 17 minutes and get from the table cos phi is uh, 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 0.716 so time will be 87.58 divided by u into 0 0.716 that gives me the total time of flight 122.32 divided by u in second i will use this expression here i put the expression of t put the expression of t square and t in this i get all this and that is 2.13 is 74811 upon u square minus 85.62 well now it's simple we just do the calculation so 74811 upon u square is 87.75 and that gives me u square as 852.55 i take the square root that is square root of 852.55 that gives me 29.2 meter per second i convert it into kilometer per hour it gives me 105.12 kilometer per hour so the result neeraj launched the projectile the javelin with a velocity of 105.12 kilometer per hour from a height of 2.13 meter above the ground at an angle of 44 degrees and 17 minutes well very interesting we have done this calculation now from the physics point of view how Neeraj could now make an effort to reach the range of 90 90 kilometer 90 sorry uh, 90 meters from the throw instead of 87 point 5890 of course two important things number one you has to be bored so his he has to improvise on his muscular strength and also once again the technique of throw while the velocity with which he launches well there is an initial velocity with which he's running and while running he's throwing so the two thing add up so the two thing add up to give the initial velocity of launch and then of course the technique now even if the velocity even if he's very powerful he's very he, he becomes very powerful the technique of launching is very very important at what angle he launches so from his height is not going to change so he'll have to launch it he has to improvise more and more so that his uh, angle should remain 44 degrees and 17 minutes now he can't do that calculation but that is by practice so that is what he'll have to do so with this once again we congratulate him and also wish him the best of luck so that in the coming years he reaches his dream of launching the projectile more than 90 meters thank you very much if you love the video and want me to make more useful videos for you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated